I know you guys are probably get it, starting to get uh, sick of this blue guy, but I promise this is the last time we are going to rig him. What we are going to do now is we are going to start from a single bone and then basically make a, a simple biped rig that works with Rigify. But you know, we won't be using the pre built metrics. So I'm actually going to generate a basic human metric just so we have it as a reference and I'm going to move it aside and then I'm going to go ahead and create a single bone. Let's name it human meta rig copy. So let's go to the armature tab and click in front and axis. Go to edit mode, edit mode, delete this default bone and since we are in edit mode I can see the samples and so I want to start by adding a leg. If you click this uh, triangle here it unhides a search field which can be very useful because there are as many as 18 items over here so sometimes it's hard to find the one that you're looking for. So in the search field I'm going to uh, type leg and then only the leg will be visible. Make sure you really click on this uh, item and then click add sample. Right away we get something that is that's looking very good. I'm going to go to side view and align the bones to my actual leg. In the front view they look pretty much pretty good. I want to again align this uh, heel bone uh, to the to my heel and also I want it to be about as wide as my actual uh, foot. So that's looking good. Uh, turn in front back on. With this whole uh, leg selected in edit mode, whole se leg selected, I'm going to click symmetrize. Okay, so as you probably remember, uh, we don't have to use the add sample field. We can just create a new bone with shift A and I'm going to move it up uh, around the spine area, scale it down a little bit, F2 to rename it spine. In the side view I'm going to align it uh, uh, better and extrude three more bones for the spine and I'm going to select the first bone in the chain, go to pose mode, switch to bone tab and under rig type I can click over here and I, I can start typing spine. There will be a couple of options available, the, ones, the one I want is basic spine. Okay so next I want to add an arm back to edit mode and let's use the rigify buttons again, the samples. I'm going to type arm, select the arm and then click add sample. The reason I'm always saying that you should select this item is we currently have the arm selected. Let's look for a leg and if I don't select it properly and click add sample, I'll be adding another arm which is not what I want. So I'm going to click Control Z to undo and search for arm again, select it properly, add sample. I'm going to move it into place. Uh, again, let's not spend too much time on this. Uh, the, the next examples are going to be much more exciting, I promise you. I'm going to add another bone, quickly move it uh, where the color bone would be. F2 to rename it and name it color.l and then go to pose mode, select this bone in the bone tab. I have to make sure that I give it a rig type. In this case I need a super copy. Uh, if you remember super co copy gives you a copy of a single bone from the meta rig to your final rig. There will be a special chapter uh, which will serve as a manual and in there I'm going to explain every single rig type. So don't worry too much if you don't uh, understand or don't remember the, the rig types yet. Okay, so we need one more single bone over here that serves uh, as support for the pelvis. So I'm going to go to edit mode, select the last nodule of the spine or the first one actually. Uh, press E to extrude a bone and I'm going to go to pose mode again and I'm going to give it a, a super copy rig type. And in the options that pop up, I'm going to turn off control. Again, I'm going to explain these uh, things in detail later on, but turning off control will not create a uh, 
a widget for this bone, so I won't be able to manipulate it, and I don't want to manipulate it, so that's perfect. So I'm going to press F2 to rename it, and uh, let's name it pelvis.l. Now I need a head as well. Let's go to edit mode, and on the rigify buttons, look for head. There it is, the super head. Let's align it with my with the model. And let's say that I do want to connect the, the spine and the neck. So I'm going to click this nodule, shift S, and choose cursor to select it. And then this nodule and shift S, selection to cursor. And now I'm going to select this first bone in the head chain. Uh, go to uh, bone tab. And in under option, let's check the connect chain option. We are almost there. Uh, let's just parent things and uh, let's sym symmetrize first. I'm going to select all of the bones that need to be symmetrized. Uh, go to armature, symmetrize. Then I'm going to select the uh, first uh, bone of the leg. Select this pelvis bone, control P, keep offset. I'm going to select the uh, first bone of the arm, the, then the collarbone, shift selected, control P, keep offset. I'm going to select the, the base of the head and then the, uh, the last bone of the spine, control P, keep offset. Uh, then the collarbone and this last bone of the spine, keep offset. And that should be it. No, I need to parent uh, the pelvis to, to the spine with keep offset. Oh, I don't have x-axis mirror option on, that's why... <laughs> okay, I'll have to do the parenting for this, uh, this side as well. Okay, now, almost there. Okay, that looks good. So let's go to object mode, armature tab, hit generate, hide my metric copy and uh, the metric that I used for reference. I'm going to select my mesh. Oh wait, I also have a, a tail and some ears. I'm going to select the metric again, uh, go to edit mode, and let's look for tail. There it is, basic tail. In side view, I'm going to align it. So another thing that I'm going to explain in detail later is that some presets, for example the leg, uh, have a uh, rigid structure. The leg can only have a chain of four bones and then this heel bone. But other types, rig types, like for example the tail, must have at least two bones, but then they can have as many as 15 or 100 or as many as you need. Let's undo. Originally this, uh, from the sample, I got three bones, but I want four, so I just extruded another one, and this is going to work. And then I'm going to in uh, edit mode, I'm going to select this tail bone and the spine bone and parent them. Uh, let's go to the options, uh, to the rig type options of, of the tail and make sure, uh, sure that connect chain is not checked. Okay, and then we also have uh, ears. So let's use the tentacle preset and the tentacle can also be easily created from a single bone without using the samples. So I'm going to create a new bone, align it with the ears, and the tentacle uh, rig type needs to have at least two bones. So I'm going to click, uh, right click and subdivide this bone. And let's also name it ear, ear.l. And I don't know, ear2.l. I'm going to set up the rig type to tentacle and then I'm going to select both bones and symmetrize them and don't forget to parent them also. Make sure you have x-axis mirror on so that you don't have to do both uh, sides of the face one by one. Keep offset. And uh, one, one last thing uh, that I want to do is check that all the bones have their uh, rig type. Sometimes, I'm not sure why, but especially when you symmetrize and copy bones, you lose the rig type. So let's check. And yeah, everything seems fine. Cool. I can go to 
object mode, armature tab, and the advanced options, I want to make sure that I'm overwriting uh, my rig. I, make, I want to make sure that my uh, generated rig is visible. If I hide it, I'll have a, an error when I try to generate. And I'm going to press generate. Now I can hide my meta rig, select the mesh, select the generated rig, control P with automatic weights. And there we go. My ears work, my head works, my tail works, my feet work, everything seems cool. So I'm probably even more glad than you that we are done with this uh, blue guy. In the next chapter we are going to rig this weird alien uh, with many arms and just one leg. The next chapter will be available soon or it may already be uploaded. Details will be in the video description. Or just go to cgdive.com slash rigify where you'll find the latest chapters, additional resources and information about advanced lessons that I'm working on. If you want to support me, click like and subscribe.